I don't have anything tangible for any of them. Yes, there's three men. But none of them has given me a tangible reason to be a certain way. Might not be any of the three. All three of you. There's one thing they all have in common. They haven't promised me anything solid. Yeah, me same thing. He was a bit shaky, like I don't really understand. He came here to be like a strong, independent black woman. You seem like you just can't stand up for yourself or you're just letting someone push you around. You see what I mean? Mm. I don't like that at all. I allowed it to get that far. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I told you guys I was going to tell you all the tea that happened last night. So this is the conversation between Black Boy and Kosi. So Kosi was saying things about Ikpe Leng, guys. Kosi said that she can't believe Ikpe Leng saved a boo boo over black boy that if she was in that position she would have saved black boy because they've been through everything you know in the house being partner and all of that anyway she also went ahead to share some conversations she said she had with a boo boo that a boo boo when Ikbelen saved a boo boo you know Ikbelen had so much words to say to a boo boo oh i like you i need you to know that i believe in you blah 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 Kosi says she never bought any of that, that that was bullshit to her. That she feels like it was all a game because she didn't pick Black Boy, that they've been through everything together in the house, and she didn't pick Tati, her supposed best friend. Like, that she was like, no, this girl is playing the game. And she felt like Ipelem backstabbed Black Boy. In that, if it was her a miracle in that situation that she would have picked miracle even if yemi was in the still in the house because she feels like they've been through a lot in the house at some point she was like anyways that she doesn't know because the power wasn't in her hands but that she um that she will really feel bad if black boy gets evicted this weekend so kosi was saying that she cannot believe that miracle once said that Ikbelen and Black Boy's partnership was what he was dreaming for. Like he was wishing that kind of partnership between them. And she couldn't stop laughing. Anyways, they said a whole lot yesterday. It was a whole lot. And Black Boy affirmed to saying that Ikbelen was actually actually his first choice. So it's sad to see that he wasn't her first choice after everything they've been through. And Kosi went ahead. I like what Kosi was saying. She was saying that she feels like she's been strategic about, about picking a boo-boo. And she wasn't lying. She was saying the truth because it is what it is. That was exactly what Iqbelen was heading for. She said that. She feel like that was strategic because after Ebubu got saved by Ikpelen, Ebubu was trying to have conversations with Ikpelen and Ikpelen was just avoiding, avoiding them. She's just avoiding me, like, you know, she can't mm -hmm. even look at me. She's just like, stop, stop, like, that's just how humble she is. <laughs> You're my first choice, but I'm not your first choice. I have tried to have a conversation with her, but she keeps avoiding me. The same thing with Black Boy. Black Boy said that their relationship now in the house has been awkward since the CM, since the Veto Power um save. And that she doesn't that he doesn't even know what to say to her again at all because obviously we all know that Black Boy was really angry that Ikpelen didn't save him, but saved Ebubu. And nobody saw that com coming like Ebubu. How? We already know that Ikpelen saving Ebubu was strategic to herself. And she picked herself over every other person, over her friends. Kosi was trying to say that, as for Tati, she doesn't really feel bad that much that um, Ikpelen picked Tati didn't pick tati because tati when they were having a conversation one time 
according to i don't know if she said Igbelen told her she said that tati told Igbelen that see at this point if i was to be in your situation i will pick myself over you so i want you to go in there and pick yourself over me which was exactly what Igbelen did we don't know but we all know that Ikele was being strategic, trying to pick the weak, weakest link. But on Friday, on Sunday, the final day, we'll let Ikele know that a boo-boo isn't weak. Anyways, the conversation continues and they were laughing and laughing and laughing until they got to the point where they were talking about the three men in Kosi's life. Because it was like, see, there's something the three men, they have in common. And that thing is that they haven't given her the certainty. Or given her the assurance that she needs. <laughs> Black boy was like, do you want T to, to ask your hand in marriage? She was like, no. Anyways, T is taban. <laughs> that, no, that's not what she's trying to say. That another thing with Yemi is that the reason why she feels that ship is not going to ship is because when she was having her coffee with Kosi section with Yvonne, Yvonne pointed it that at some point she thought that she wasn't picking herself in that situation she was in, that it was messy to see that Kosi would still be in that situation with Yemi with everything that Yemi was doing. That during that coffee with Kosi, she, she realized that she gave Yemi too much of her. And that's the reason why Yemi did what she, he did. And moving forward, she doesn't think she wants to be in that position again. I'm like, that is my girl, Kosi. Kosi, grow up. Kosi is growing on us. She said she's not sure she's going to, she's willing to open that door again because of what she went through in that relationship, guys. And I'm like, yes, this is what we call growth. It's either you're willing to open the door or you're willing to forgive. And if she's trying to weigh it and is not weighing, just let go and move on. Anyways, that's it for this conversation. I just thought I should bring it to you guys because I promise you guys I'm going to come up, bring all the tea that happened last night. Anyways, let me know in the comment section what you think about Kosi trying to get rid of Yemi's situation and just move on with her life. Or is she going to be in the circle of herself and the three men in her life? Let me know in the comment section. Also, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.